How's it going? Motor City Miner here from Detroit. And today is GPU build day. We are in Blue Squadron room that we've been talking about in the past. This, is a, this room will be dedicated to GPU mining. I know there's an ASIC on that shelf right now, um, but that is just temporary. It will go back into one of the other rooms. Um, but it's going to take me some time to get all these set up. I mean, we're looking at eight oct miners. Um, it's just a lot of work, so <laughs> tuning and everything, uh, getting cards up and running. So we're working on our first X8 Ultra. I've never had one of these before. I've only had the X12s before, uh, so a little different for me. Uh, I think it's interesting that it has, you know, the vertical CPU board. Um, so that's definitely different than the X12, which kind of has it uh, underneath the PSU, to be honest. So we got four hot swappable PSUs here. Uh, the breakout board, cable managed already from the factory, different lengths for the different slots, which is really convenient. We got our SD card here, which uh, I have to put my rig config file on. Um, does have CR2032 battery that's needed, so I need to grab a few of those for, um, forgot these don't ship with them, so they're at my house, so I do have to grab those to get this up and operational, unfortunately. Um, so this is gonna be a multi-part, you know, kinda we'll skip some things until things are built in here. Uh, but looking to get three set up today, uh, specifically three that all are 3060 Ti's. This is, uh, I brought it, finally brought some GPUs to the farm here. We got 24, um, 3060 Ti Founders Editions here. Like I said, I got a great deal of the business purchase from Best Buy back in October. I had a hunch that uh, that was about, figured October no, until Thanksgiving would be like kind of the, the lowest um, GPU prices would be, and so far that's actually worked out in my favor. Uh, kind of guessed right on that. I kind of thought that with the 40 series coming out and the 7. 7,000 series from AMD that um, there'd be some artificial uh, supply management to create uh, more demand than supply and that seems to be what's happening where a lot of these 36, uh, 30 cards and 6,000 series cards are holding their value. So um, got all these uh, below MSRP back in October and well, it's, it's really hard to find even 30 series Founders Editions now, but um, there were no 3070s, that's what I was really eyeing, but honestly, for 100 bucks left, the 3060 Ti, I really like anyway. I mean, 399 MSRP, pretty much similar performance and efficiency to the 3070, um, which is $100 cheaper, but it does, you know, it is a little bit less performance on everything and a little less efficient, but still couldn't beat the price. I was really happy. I think I averaged like not much below MSRP. I think it's like 380 or something like that. Um, but you know, seems to be working out because 40 series is not looking good for uh, mining, and 30 series uh, prices seem to just be going up. So um, we're gonna get those 24 into three of these today. You might hear some whining in the background. I do apologize for that. So. We do have a makeshift attempt at exhausting heat from this room. You can kind of see I put my AC Infinity 8 inch uh, fan that I had from my farm, uh, the other farm. I kind of just shoved it in the duct there and just kind of sitting there. I put a little, uh, little screw sticking up so I can't slide out and it's just kind of plugged into an outlet up there right now. Um, so we're gonna kind of test, you know, how exhaust goes, having this hot side here and the cold side out there. Um, that goes out to the other chamber right now. There is no like exhaust outside, so I guess it's really just dissipating heat over a larger area, but you know, we'll see how it goes with just these three units. Um, and I did close up this, so I uh, put a little board over it. So we won't have backflow from that room that all that hot air is exhausting to. So curious to see how much it helps in here. Um, it is only an 8-inch fan, and that's a 12-inch duct. Uh, so I do plan to upgrade. 
uh, to a 12 inch fan at some point. All right, so I gotta run home, get this CR2032 batteries that I have at home. I have a whole bunch of them, but forgot them all because I forgot I needed them. So we'll be back in like, I don't know, a half hour or so. Um, for you, it'll be like a couple seconds, but you know, that's the magic of movie editing for you. So see you guys shortly. All right, we're back. We got the CR2032s, child secure, I can attest they are secure, I mean, literally had to use these sh giant shears and mangle this, and finally got one out, or uh, there were two already out, and we have organized all the 3060Ti's in order from serial number. I try to keep things in order so I know when there's a problem where to go look for it. I also have an Excel spreadsheet that tells me. So uh, these are the lowest serial number up to the highest. So we're going to start with these first eight and they're going to go in there. So be right back. All right, and we're back. Look at that. 83060 TIs all lined up, looking beautiful. I did do some wire management, so um, these actually come with enough PCIe uh, power um, to do four, uh, eight 3090s, so that'd be eight three times eight pins. Um, so 3060 Ti only takes one eight pin, not three. So I did take out all the additional um, these are all double that also come with the Octominer X8 Ultra. So double eight pins. I did take all those out just to save some room, get some more airflow. So, uh, but yeah, otherwise, uh, the only other thing, PSA. <laughs> I've never, I've had a couple Founders Editions, but never this many at once. And I, a lot of them, these, uh, 12 pin to 8 pin connectors, I was having a lot of trouble putting the 8 pin into uh, what came from NVIDIA. Um, in fact, a few of these, the the pins, like the yellow wire or the black wire um, on the Octominer cord actually got pushed out uh, when I was trying to push these together um, and I had to reinsert them. Um, so make sure they're fully seated and make sure none of them came loose or even half popped out. You'll want to make sure things are fully connected and, you know, no shorting, no fires, nothing like that. Um, so just something to watch out for, something I noticed with these 12 pin connectors. Um, I'm sure many of you have already had experience with these Founders Editions, but I just never have really had many, so, um, yeah, first time I ran into that. So now we're gonna um, cover this, put the cover back on, and we're gonna put it up on the top rack up there. And yeah, see how it goes. Be right back. All right, here it is. Fits perfectly. I mean, I did <laughs> space the shelves exactly how I needed, uh, but these will, you know, catch. Uh, essentially, can't slide. For, uh, back, I guess I could technically slide this way, um, but the idea is I push them into these inserts, right, and then hot and cold. So, um, but yeah, no, it's up, it's connected, it is mining away. Sorry, that's kind of blurry. I guess, uh, but, uh, I'm mining some flux right now, so, um, but yeah, I'm gonna get the next. Uh, two, so we'll put another one next to that one, then one down below for now. Um, trying to keep heat higher so it rises. Uh, whereas if I put all them down low and have an opening, you know, it's possible the hot air just circulates back. So I'm gonna put the other one next to this one, and then one down below, and then I'll probably use the boxes from the GPUs to kind of block in this spot until I get more of these rigs up and running. So uh, yeah, I'll. Uh, take probably another hour to uh, get the other two up and running. Um, but yeah, once those are up and running, we'll see you back here 
and yeah, we'll have three uh, 3060 Ti's rigs, eight cart rigs running away, and uh, I should do about 1,200 or so souls per second combined across the three on top of my other rigs that are doing some flux right now. Um, but yeah, uh, and that's it. Uh, I use the whole like four o'clock, mem clock, locks uh, within Mini Z to really uh, get the hatch rate down. So I think right at, or the power consumption down. So it's kind of hard to see. Uh, yeah, right now we're doing about 406 uh, souls per second and. Right around 800 watts, so that's pretty pretty awesome. And that's Octaminer, so that's the whole rig is 800 watts. Fans, CPU, everything. So each card is probably averaging right around 90 watts right now, um, which is really good. Uh, really happy with that. So, um, but yeah, I'll be right back once we get two more up and running. All right, and just like that. All three, one, two, three, all 3060 Ti rigs up and running. Uh, right now, doing about a little over 12,000, sorry, 1,200 um, souls per second across the three of them, and pulling about 2,400 watts at the moment, a little over that. Each of them is hovering right around 810 or so, 820. Um, you can see I used the uh, Founders Edition boxes to kind of fill in that slot there and the bottom slot over there. Uh, so yeah, we're going to see how this goes, this whole cold and hot side with the exhaust fan, see how, how temperatures stay. Um, so far it's definitely a lot cooler than the other rooms, um, but obviously it hasn't been running very long. So, And I am... Um, I did bring this over here just for this purpose of kind of a stress test, so this is the L1 uh, Blue Star Miner, uh, so produces a lot of heat, this A6, so uh, we're going to see how this goes. Um, but yeah, I'll give an update, I guess, later, um, but that's about it for today. Got these three done like I wanted to. Um, still got five, five more to go in this room, one there, and... Got four more there, um, but we'll get there. We will get there. So yeah, until next time.